points. Students, we use many geometrical shapes and concepts in our everyday life. One of the concepts is points. A point is shown by a tiny dot. We can use a pen or a sharp pencil to make the dot. The dots in the rangoli are the symbols for points. A point can be given a name. Capital letters of the alphabet are used to name a point. The points P, A and T are shown in the figure alongside. Line segments and lines concept. Students, now we will see the difference between line and a line segment. Radhika and Mitali, you both stand in front. We can arrange the number of balls between both of these girls. Now, I can arrange the balls to the right side of Radhika. In similar way, we can arrange the number of balls on the left side of Mitali. Students, I can arrange indefinite number of balls between both of them as well as on the right and left side of them. The set of all such points in a straight line is called a line. Let us see the definition geometrically. Take two points A and B on a sheet of paper and join them using a ruler. We get the straight line AB. Can we extend this line further on the side of point B? On the side of point A? How far can we extend it? We can extend the line in both directions till the edges of the paper. If the paper is very big, the line can be very long too. How long would the line be on a playing field? Let's imagine that we can extend this line forever without any limits on both sides. To show this extended line on paper, we use arrowheads at both ends of the line. In mathematics, when we say line, we mean straight line. Students, if we remove the balls from the left and the right side of Radhika and Mitali, then now only balls between both of them will remain. That means we are considering the balls only between two fixed points. That set of points between the two fixed points is called a line segment. The first line that we drew was only from point A to point B. It was a piece or a segment of the longer line. A line segment has two points showing its limits. They are called end points. We write line segment AB as segment AB in short. A and B are its end points. A line is named using a small letter or by using any two points on the line. Line has been shown alongside. Its name can also be written as line PQ or line QP. Rays. Dad, why there is this flow of light only in one forward direction? Why this light is not coming from the backward direction of the torch? You have asked a nice question. These are the light rays coming from the torch which travel only in one direction. Similarly, have you observed the sun rays? They also originate from the sun and travel straight on the surface of the earth. But they do not travel back to the sun. A ray is a part of a line. It starts at one point and goes forward continuously in the same direction. The starting point of a ray is called its origin. Here, P is the origin. An arrowhead is drawn to show that the ray is infinite in the direction of Q. The figure can be read as Ray PQ. The Ray PQ is not read as Ray QP. Planes Today we learned about the planes in geometry. Plane, what is that? I only know aeroplane. Look at the surface of the table. Look at this blackboard. Look at this wall. Look at this TV screen. These are all flat surfaces. Whereas, now see this cylinder, ball, pen, glass, a container, they all are having curved surfaces. A plain flat surface is called a plane in geometry. The name of the plane in the picture is H. 
even though we draw a suitably small figure of the plane, it actually extends infinitely on all sides. Arrows are drawn to show that the plane extends infinitely in all directions. However, these arrows are often omitted for the sake of convenience. Parallel lines. Dad, look at the tracks of a rail. They are in a straight line. But do they meet? Till how long they will be going in a straight line? Ha ha ha. No beta. They will not meet. It is necessary for a train to move on these tracks. Such types of straight lines which never meet or intersect are called parallel lines. Look at this ladder. The steps on the ladder are parallel to each other. The vertical legs of the ladder are also parallel to each other. So, I hope it is clear to you that parallel lines never intersect. Look at this page from a notebook. Is this page a part of a plane? If we extend the lines that run sideways on the page, will they meet each other somewhere? Now I know. Lines which lie in the same plane but do not intersect are said to be parallel to each other. Write the proper term intersecting lines or parallel lines in each of the empty boxes. Answer. These are intersecting lines these are parallel lines and these are intersecting lines. Practice set 1. 1. Look at the figure alongside and name the following. 1. In the given figure, collinear points are M, O, T and R, O, N. 2. Ray O, M, Ray O, R, Ray O, S, Ray O, T, Ray O, N and Ray O, P are the rays in the given figure. 3. Segment RN and segment MT are the line segments in the given figure. 4. Line MT or line TM and line RN or line NR are the lines in the given figure. 2. Write the different names of the lines. In the figure, line AB is the name of the line. We have studied that line can be named as either line AB or line BA. Similarly, we can state other names for the line. Line has names as line AC or line CA, line AD or line DA, line BC or line CB, line BD or line DB, line CD or line DC and line L. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें